Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. And they want to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones, so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, in the February 25, 2023 election, Atiku Abubakar, has, urged, uh, has argued that there was no failure of the server as claimed by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Reports has it that Atiku and the PDP in a 66-page petition lodged before the presidential election petition court sitting at the Court of Appeal in Abuja, said they would adduce evidence to show that the server being cloud-based in the event of any unlikely challenge, Amazon Web Service would have seemingly switched to another server without hitch, being auto-scaling groups with multiple network reception and offline upload options. The petitioners contend that the technology system deployed by the first respondent underwent quality assurance tests before acquisition and deployment. The first respondent is hereby given notice to produce the QAT, the quality assurance test report that was prepared by PricewaterhouseCoopers, PwC, as well as the report of vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. VAPT by consultant Suleiman Farouk of Solfman Consulting Limited and all other subsequent and related reports on the system. The petitioners contend that the so-called glitch was a bypass to tilt and switch the results of the presidential election in favor of the second and third respondents, they said. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular revelation on this news? Atiku Abubakar and his camp has come out to make a claim that there was nothing like a server system, server failure or server issue during the just concluded presidential election in Nigeria. Recall that during the election, as a result of um, the results not being uh, collated or not being uploaded on the IREV from the polling unit, from some polling units, it was claimed that the uh, INEX server had been attacked. And so, for that reason, results could not be uploaded at some polling units. While some polling units, you know, were able to actually push this, some other polling units could not uh, upload their results as uh, they claimed that the server had been uh, attacked or something was wrong with the server. Be that as it were, a lot of Nigerians bought into that uh, narrative and uh, went ahead to uh, seek or look for another option, which was the offline mode uploading of results, which some uh, people at some polling units actually resulted to and eventually uploaded. At some point, it was also uh, reported that uh, the server was back up and running. Now, the Atiku Abu Bakar camp is claiming that there was no such thing as the supposed claim of um, attack on INEC server. Well, it remains to be seen, and they have asked I need to provide the quality assurance test results on the server from the various organizations that are actually, um, you know, provided services to the INEC. Well, it is what it is. These are new revelation and it, to a very large extent, it's surprising. It's shocking as to how INEC could make this type of um, error or claim. Well, if the PDP camp has uh, proof and evidences as they have said they do, it remains to be seen how the judges eventually 
looked at the matter and what they come out with on this particular issue. It is believed that the justices at uh, the presidential election petition court would be honest and do justice to the outcome of this particular uh, issue in court. It remains to be seen uh, if it is true that uh, Nigeria or uh, Nigerians' integrity was actually uh, smashed in the mud. Be that as it were, one might be um, might be forced to want to believe what the article camp is saying because Nigeria as a country, as a nation, would have spent millions of taxpayers' money on this particular server issue. If organizations that are not as financially buoyant or as Nigeria or organizations, private organizations, could spend a huge amount of money to secure their server against attacks and bullies and all that, then how much more a nation as big as Nigeria, the most populous country, black country in the world? So it tells you that something is definitely wrong somewhere. It is either INEC is not telling the truth or it is either the, a, uh, the PDP camp did not get their facts correctly. But this is left for the courts to decide. It is left for the judges to decide and let Nigerians know. To a very large extent, I think uh, many Nigerians are not well informed as to a lot of things that has happened and, perpet and was perpetrated during this particular general elections to a very large extent. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But however, one would want to agree that issues that has to do, do with um, the, uh, the issue of uh, the website and all that and all that should have been well dealt with by this particular um, uh, uh, issue by, by, by INEC. It should have been dealt with by INEC. Well, it remains to be seen. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. Be that as it were, guys, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold and what eventually transpires. What are your thoughts, guys? I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Well, drop by at the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support.